Holly. She never really left me. She was kind of always there. I'm here to report a terrible crime. And what terrible crime is that? This one. She's so intimately familiar with the character of Harley Quinn. She loves devoting the energy and time to figuring her out. I think that now getting to play her again is really exciting for her too because she gets to dive further into the character. She came back like really, really quick. She was like ready to go. I met with Margot in the summer of 2015. It was a morning meeting on like a Wednesday. And when they were like, can we get your tea or a coffee? We both were like, um, yeah, are you gonna? Yeah, I could have like a mimosa or something. And I was just like, I love this chick. She's not really like cookie cutter playing by the rules. And we started talking about what we were both interested in, the kind of movies that we loved, and what we both wanted to do. She told me that she had this idea, this dream of doing a Harley Quinn girl gang R-rated movie. And I was like, I'm in, 100%, 1,000%, I'm in. Isn't this fun? It's like a sleepover. Should we get pizza, make Cosmos? Harley, focus. I pitched already the general idea, and I think the studios were a little trepidatious, especially when it came to like the R rating, and I, they were like, what are you trying to do here? And I was like, let me bring you a script. When I got the script, I was like, I thought it couldn't get even more batshit crazy, and it did. <laughs> it was that times 10. Christina's brain is, like, really interesting. Some of this stuff, I'm like, how'd you come up with this? Like, what's going on in your, your little head? She really could write like Holly. It's insane. She's so able to catch the tone and spirit of these characters, like the cadence of it. The words that she uses, she's so tapped into how these characters should sound. It was just about having fun, really. And we kind of wanted to just explode that and see what would happen if you didn't follow any of the rules, you didn't do anything that was expected. Yes, I take my art incredibly seriously, and this is a serious place. And it was the desire for us to entertain the idea of a younger filmmaker, somebody who could bring a very unique point of view to this world. We met first, and I didn't think I could do this movie. I mean, I had just finished my first feature. I was just starting to get into the system and figure out what I wanted to do next. And then I read this script, and it was like, love it first read. It felt really right when Kathy came in. She understood the story, the characters. She had so many additional thoughts. She can seamlessly work within a very artistic realm, and she can follow her heart, and she can hold her own. And yet she also is able to be very focused and organized and structured about executing on that vision. Hold up, hold up. I'm telling this all wrong. Let's rewind. <laughs> I love the tone of our movie. The challenge as a director to get right because you can veer into just pure comedy, but I want the movie to have heart and soul and a real arc for all of these women. It's a story about a group of women coming together through all the zany craziness to help one another. I think so often women in movies are perceived as being like competitive relationships rather than friendships and collaborations. And we kind of wanted to see what it would be like to have a movie about our friends. Those, you know, late nights at four in the morning, after a night out, eating tacos. Mm -hmm. Morning yeah. margaritas! Thank you. I got you. You drink, right, kid? Yeah. Danger, danger. There's more women in front and behind the camera for sure than any movie I've worked on. Telling a story about a girl gang, it's always helpful to have a female perspective. <laughs> it's a lot of really talented, smart, completely unique individual women. It's cool to just look around and have a combination of all these women, but also seeing all the men that have really supported this film. We really wanted Maddie Flipatik to shoot it because a, he's incredible, but I think Maddie is unique in the fact that he adapts his style for the mil filmmaker that he's working with and for the story that he's telling. He and I just immediately got along. I think we have very similar aesthetic taste. He was just brilliant at providing this color and energy and kind of visceral experience that we wanted people to have. I think together we were able to take some pretty big risks in the way we shot the movie. You're ready, ladies. Thanks. Hi. 
production is super fun. It's grounded. All the women have different styles, and I wanted to keep it there. I love working with Jonathan Eusebio, our stunt coordinator. He's amazing, and his guys at 8711. JoJo's a super pro, and he's so able to do so many different styles of fighting, and has really been able to kind of build it out and take it way beyond anything I could have imagined or put on the page, and give them each flair and character and personality that comes across. She just wanted to encapsulate like the, the fun and joy of it. We try to find fun in the, the action we're doing. So pieces of hardcore action with some levity. Oh, right in the shit. Renee is much more like tough and from the streets. She's a boxer. Canary is mostly leg work, so she's doing a lot of like roundhouse kicks and Muay Thai. We want to make her agile, but keep her kind of grounded. So maybe they use her arms mostly for defense and her offense is all kicks. Huntress is just like a precise precision, like killing machine. We taught a little bit of judo, a little bit of jujitsu, a little bit of karate. <laughs> You are so cool. Harley is very whimsical. She uses her gymnastics. Harley's kind of everywhere, so her style is kind of based off just being unpredictable. It's fun to see these four different fighting styles come together. I've had to do a lot of fighting and stunt work, and it's just really beyond anything I've done before in any other film. So that's been really fun and really like empowering to feel like I can accomplish some of those things. My body has definitely transformed and taken a little bit of a beating. <laughs> Those stuntmen, they were fantastic and they were so supportive. I remember JoJo and JB go, hit him. And I go, what? No, hit him. I said, and he goes, no, hit him. And I was like, ah, great. Now that's how you're going to do it. Oh, oh no, take that. Like, that hurt? No, you didn't touch me. I'll, I'll try to sell it. it. <laughs> <laughs> sell the pun. <laughs> Kathy is so amazing. And same for Margot. She's been so involved. For an actor to have such a creative presence in the filmmaking process has been really inspiring for me to watch. This whole thing really was born out of her desire. All right, I'm gonna bring it. She has been, yeah. since day one, kind of the beating heart of this project that brought us all together. This movie owes so much to Margot. This has been a very personal journey for her, I think. It's been many, many years in the making, so I feel very honored <laughs> to be a part of that. I feel like there was just so much I still wanted to explore for the first time around. Just so wasn't done. So I'm really happy I got the opportunity now. That felt pretty great.